Hello and welcome back to another reaction. In this occasion, Avatar The Last Airbender episode 7 of the first book. Yes, last time we got um interesting episode, the imprisoned one. It's again, as I mentioned during my commentary in my last episode, it's a very heavy topic that we handle in this cartoon. Again, let's remember the target audience. The target audience is not us, it's children in the end. So they have to handle these heavy topics in a very delicate way without obviously losing the, uh, the point of said topics. And they actually did pretty well. They actually managed it quite well because yes, we are, we're speaking about atrocities of war. A long war that we are being... Uh, dealing in this universe of course for a long time and of course this is handled quite well as i said before so yes this is this gives me i'm not going to say hope because this is something i always had for this show for the way that everybody is speaking about it but it gives me a reassurance that this is taking the correct route that a program should take, that they know what they are doing, and that is something I can appreciate a lot. But anyway, I speak about the last episode in my last commentary, so yeah, let's just cut all of this and watch the next episode, shall we? Okay, I'm back. I just watched a, a couple of times this episode because, again, as I said during the last moments of my reaction, there is a lot of stuff going on with this one. Um, it is started like a normal episode, like another adventure that our heroes are going to have to deal with, perhaps uh, helping another uh, person or helping another village. And yes, in essence, that's what they did. But actually, there is something else going on in the background here that is not completely just helping or is not the main thing that they want you to focus on. But there is something else going on, especially with Ang. Because Ang, as I said before, is starting to realize the consequences of him running away. Is he starting to see that, yes, he wants to have fun, he doesn't want to be the avatar, he just wants to uh, be free in the, in the end, but actually everything else, uh, thanks to him or his inaction, uh, is that what caused the war or something like that, that yeah, he's an avatar and he's supposed to be uh, protecting everybody. Of course, I do not share this completely, I think that uh, the Fire Nation planet to attack from the beginning, he want they wanted to just uh, deal with uh, the, the 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 well the war. He wanted more territory because, as I saw during one of my first uh, reactions of this series, the portion of land of the of the Fire Nation is pretty small, and my guess he was too ambitious and all of that. So, yes, they want more, and they wanted to attack, and perhaps. They wanted to attack while the Avatar was in a weakened state. Perhaps it would have been worse if he just stayed with the monks and perhaps he would have been killed because he didn't have the abilities to, well, be in the full Avatar. He was still a kid back then and perhaps... I don't know. I, I am still um, not sure of anything. Uh, this is something that is just mere speculation that, yes, the ambition of somebody from the Fire Nation will have caused the attack even with the avatar or without him and perhaps with the avatar there in this weakened state by being so early in his cycle of life or this cycle of life will be uh, something different and they will have attack and nobody will be able to 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 stop them and even worse they will be uh, i don't know it will be worse because they will have dealt with a weakened avatar or a not full prepared avatar so yeah perhaps the fire nation was always like this mentality of somebody in the fire nation has always this mentality now 
this doesn't change the fact that Ang really was partially responsible for this. Yes, it's a lot of responsibility to put on a very young mind. Because, yeah, let's not forget that so far from what I have seen in this uh, animation, in Avatar, he doesn't retain the memories of, of his past life. He doesn't know exactly what to do. He's not an old man in the in the body of a young one no he's his own mind he has the ability to control every single element but still he has the mentality of a young man in this case of a kid and that mind needs to be developed uh, with time so this is very similar and <laughs> Again, when you start to enter into the spiritual world, the spiritual realm, any cartoon is always kind of hard trying to piece together, especially with the resurrection, because, yeah, it's problematic on its own. That how can you be the resurrection of the spirit, but not having the memories? But, yeah, it's, it's immensely complicated once you start to think about it. But anyway, yeah, Ang is feeling like that. And obviously, again, this show is good by giving us everything that is going to happen in the episode. They have the setup and they have the payoff in the end. Uh, yeah, we reach the, the village. We are reached the village after cheering off Ang. And they are having problems with the spirit. And of course, the spirit. Uh, I think it was pretty obvious from the beginning that this was the spirit of the forest that was burned down. And yeah, it attack in Oragata, uh, Hank, the Avatar, and grab somebody. He just wanted to grab somebody, I guess, as a retribution for the damage that was done to his forest and run away. And of course, uh, Ang gave pursuit. But this event just is the beginning of several others. In this case, kind of a spiritual search from the Avatar. I don't know who he end up in the top of the statue, but he end up there, perhaps again, a subconscious state, and he did, didn't remember that he was just separated from his body, or perhaps the, 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 the forest spirit just put him there because he recognized him as the avatar, and that's why he didn't want to really grab him because he's another business differently, a very old spirit, and I don't know. I, again, these are, these are ideas that I'm throwing out there because I do not understand the world completely because obviously these are just the first episodes. I need to be patient with that. Again, I'm sometimes I'm way too impatient with, with any show that I watch. Anyway, as I was saying, they enter the spiritual world. And yes, I didn't know that every single avatar has a spiritual, uh, well, a guiding animal. A opa for uh, Frank and this kind of winged dragon, a Chinese winged dragon for the previous one, Roku. I think it was the name of the previous avatar. And this is giving us hints of how we can, uh, or how the show is going to give a little bit of help to this child, to this lost child that is the avatar thanks to one of his previous lives. Again, this brings a lot of stuff, uh, perhaps it's just the memories of the previous lives, of course the knowledge and guidance of the previous life. But again, it's so complicated when you start to think about that. But obviously, we have more pressing matters in this moment. We have the problem of the villagers that have been kidnapped, uh, and of course, uh, Sokka is the last one was kidnapped and i love the resolution that they gave uh, to that problem that yes this is not a problem that can be solved by violence no since avatar uh, in this case angst are the bridge between world the spiritual world and the natural world let's say uh, thanks to all the resurrections and they hold this spirit that can withstand all the elements let's say um he was able to com communicate with this angry spirit that he's angry because the forest was damaged a lot. And of course, since he's, an, let's say, an animal spirit, he doesn't understand completely and he just has one retribution. But I ang make him understood that, yes, there is life. There is still hope for the rebuilding of your forest. Yes, it's going to take a while. Of course, it's not an instant job, but there is hope. And again, this speaks about the delicate state of nature. That yes, the nature can grow back because it's kind of a lot of living things and this 
uh, heal themselves. But they require time. Yes, there are consequences of us damaging the nature, sorry. But in the end, there is hope. We can solve this. We can change this. Again, these are subtle messages that are given by the show. And that is something I appreciate immensely. That is not in your face. And yes, I know, I know I repeat this a lot, but I think this is very genuinely important to, to notice that this is not in your face message. This is the ideal way of delivering a message through an entertaining story, through something else. Because if you just scream to somebody, oh, you need to take care of the environment, and you just scream in your face, that person is not going to listen. He's just going to be irritated by your screaming in his face or in her face. So that's why. That's why this show works so well. Now, let's speak about another topic that I want to leave by the end. Between the sections of act, trying to understand how the Force Spirit was feeling, how he should communicate with his, with his past lives, uh, among all those problems of our protagonists, we receive another type of problem. But now with our villains or antagonists, I'm still not sure how to call them. Uncle Iroh. By being lazy, because yeah, he's kind of lazy, he's kind of laid back. Uh, he was captured by some earthbenders. Again, this is war, this is obviously naturally to happen. He was a famous general, and there are consequences of action. So yeah, he, they want justice, they want to bring him to justice. So they capture him. But the interesting part of this last segment, or in this segment, because yeah, this is not the last segment, the important part of this segment is the attitude of Prince Suko. Especially when he was tempted in some point. Because yes, he wants to recover his uncle. Because so far uh, from the Fire Nation, this is the uncle that was that wanted to take care of his uh, nephew. He doesn't want to abandon him, even if uh, the father kind of did. He was with his nephew, so therefore there is a bond of uh, well familiarity, a bond of blood, a bond of friendship, and a bond of love, that uh, mutual respect. Yes, even if uh, Suko is irritated by the uncle, especially from the beginning. He is still caring for him. Even if he turns, oh, we're going to leave in half an hour, so be ready. No, instead of just leaving leaving him there. No, he went for him because oh, he must fall asleep and he doesn't care. So let's go for him and just go. Now, this is the ultimate point. And that's when he figured out that he was kidnapped. Well, not kidnapped, captured. And he wanted to save his uncle. I don't know if he didn't took more soldiers with him because he wanted to, uh, to go in separate ways so they can find it easier. I don't know. Or it's just personally for him and he doesn't and he didn't want to involve his soldiers. But there is a point in which he can choose. And a very hard show choose was made in that moment. He could choose to follow the Avatar because he believed that, yes, that Flying Bison was the Avatar. Even if it wasn't, we know that. It was just Katara. Or follow his uncle. Of course, the reason of following the Avatar was that he could lose the track of, 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 of the uncle. And he could lose him forever. And he chose to follow his uncle. He chose to rescue his uncle. And that speaks volumes of the character. Yes, so far he is the villain. Because he belongs to the Fire Nation, the bad guys. But he is showing humanity. They are not showing us a Fire Nation member as this robotic, I do whatever I want or whatever they order me to do. And I don't care about my family, I don't care about my friends. Bring Suko is caring about his uncle above his own goal. He is not soulless. He is not cold. 
he could get angry with his uncle. He could get angry with all the silliness that we have seen. And I honestly love the set silliness. But he won't abandon his uncle. Why is that? I don't know. Perhaps there is something deeper in there. Perhaps because his family, because perhaps because he never abandoned him just like his pa uh, his parents. Well, we so far I'm just speaking about the father, but I haven't seen the mother so far. So yeah, I'm assuming both of them abandoned him. So yes, again we're seeing character development and for the villains. Which is something I'm so thankful for because this gives me this gives me so much fuel for future episodes that we're not going to see two-dimensional characters or one-dimensional characters. We're going to see three-dimensional villains, which makes a story a lot more interesting. Not just the main protagonist. Yes, when you develop your main protagonist, that is obvious. That is something that you must do. But when you develop your villains, you make an even better story. And I'm so grateful for that. And we're getting a lot more plot advancement too. That now we have to go to the Fire Nation where everything is against you. So we are getting outside of our comfort zone. That yes, we're just going through the Earth Nation when they are nice to us, when the enemy, when their enemy is our enemy. But no, we are going now to the territory of our enemy, when everything is against us. And that is, speaks volumes of how risky this could be. And I love a show that takes such risks. Oh man, I'm so excited for the next episode. And yes, the fact that we could be seeing another kind of previous avatar in the spirit world... So we can advance more the plot is, again, a lot more tempting. Oh my god, this really genuinely looks promising. I cannot wait for the next episode. But yeah, I think I genuinely exhausted the topic of this one. A, a lot to talk about, and I hope I was able to, to express what I wanted to say. So yeah, I have nothing else to say, but thank you for your attention, and well... See you on the next one. Bye. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, give it a like so the algorithm from YouTube will help me out. And check my other videos, share them, and also, why not subscribe to my channel and join this community? And as always, I want to thank you for your attention, your likes, and even your dislikes, your comments, which is something I always look forward to read. And yeah, once more, thanks, and see you on the next one.